It's time to work on skins. This is the first skin I've done on this project, and it's a little bit tricky. I'm starting with the right side skin. The structure of the horizontal stabilizer is actually symmetrical. There is no right or left, top or bottom, until you install the elevator trim servo wire. Once that is installed, it becomes the left side. For whatever reason, the right side skin just was not fitting correctly, so I decided to try the left side skin. That worked much better. The tricky part, though, is once you start putting in Clecos, you don't really have access to those leading edge ribs, and they get bent sideways sometimes, so it's a little tricky to get the holes lined up. But with a little persistence, I got all of the Clecos in. I say all the Clecos. Actually, I messed up. I forgot to order the largest size Clecos, the 3 16 so I wasn't able to completely Clico the left side until my order of 3 16 Clicos came in the next morning. Since this is the first skin I've Clicoed in place, I wasn't sure what the best strategy was. Start at the leading edge, go to the trailing edge, or start with the big Clicos, go to the small. But eventually, whatever I did worked. Here you can see it's the next day I have the larger 3 16 Clicos, and now the right side skin seems to fit so much better. I'm not sure if it was putting the larger Clicos in that aligns things better, or if it's just that the left side is done, which aligns the whole structure better so the right side fit better. On this side, the most difficult part was that nose rib that's inboard from the end. It was bent a little bit sideways, and I just could not get an awl or anything in there to get the holes aligned. I finally solved it by getting a long, thin welding rod and pushing it in from the end and just nudging the rib into place, and then I could get the Clecos in. So now I just try to get a Cleco in approximately every other hole so there's room to put in rivets when it's time to pull rivets. But before we do that, we have to check to make sure there's no twist in the hole stabilizer. To do that, you just stand it up on end and hang a plumb bob on each side without moving it. And if it goes down through the center on each side, you're ready to go. In this case, it looks pretty good. 